Welcome back, Akron fans, to the last exhibition match I'm going to be casting today. It's going to be between J Raccoon and God on Overgrown Citadel. Let's get it started. So J Raccoon starting in the east side of the map, God starting in the west side of the map. This is a very small map. We've seen this before, but probably not in a long time. So just go over it for a bit. This is also an assassin mode game. But yeah, we have the bases on the east and west with not a lot of our... A lot of resources in them, actually. Quite a, actually, no. Kind of think it's more than the standard Cold War style, but this is a tiny map with a few expansions. So north, very near the main bases, there's expansions to the north and south, as well as some Q plasma crates in the middle. But as we can see, this map is very small. This is a tiny map. This is probably why it's been played much. Most players tend to go for the larger maps, but occasionally players do want to play the phone booth maps, and when they do, they do such maps do exist for them. Anyway, Gold setting up very quickly, getting imported with three RC, three RPs, sorry, three LCRPs, and Jericho as Vekir getting his three LCRPs, probably getting a fourth pretty soon. But I would recommend actually going for a very quick LC and QP, and then building up economy from there. Both players scouting the Raycron, seeing what their opponent's up to, and God also very quickly going with a special loss to attack. But his Acron actually taking quite a bit of damage here. God likely to echo it out fairly soon, just because there's so much infantry dealing damage to it. And Jericoon's surprisingly not building up another RP from here. I don't know what he's waiting for. Probably because units are caught up in the assault there, getting rid of the Akron. So God actually losing his Akron quite quickly. But he really needs to he needs to echo this out. He needs to move it back. That is exactly what he's doing. Getting that out of there. So J Raccoon will not ultimately get rid of that Akron at this point, but still, that was a little bit too risky. And Special Ops coming in as well, getting rid of the Teth Veer, in fact, but the Shin Veer taking care of that. So, J Raccoon losing one of his Teth Veers right off the bat, while God loses his Special Ops. But yeah, once again, I'm a bit surprised at what's going on here. J Raccoon making the Marine kill itself with splash damage. Wow, this is starting out really well for J-Raccoon right at the first minute. So I think God's going to probably change around where his Marine was, because that's just... That's pretty insane. So... Well, this is going to be... Let's see. Well, he's going to take more damage he can, but Teth Fears deal very little damage to ground units, so it's not a surprise not much is happening there. And God... He is actually going right to the very start again. Going for Grekum instead. I have no idea why he's going for Grekum. I mean, for a map like this, I guess it makes sense if you want to play Grekum. Like I said before, you scout a CISO, but... Um, if he's going for a 4 Octo Rush, that would make sense. It's just, Grekum doesn't necessarily rush super well. They CISO really does rush better than them in a lot of ways. And there's, of course, Zion Pulsar Rushes that can just happen within a minute, which are even scarier, though Jericho not going for that. But I'm a little bit surprised at his exact course of action here. I think God might have been intending to go for Grekman in the first place, but no, he's not going for a rush, he's going straight for economy once again, getting up his options for RPs. I'm very surprised at this. I honestly would have expected him just to go for straight for the rush. So... J Raccoon will be scouting again, and we'll see that God has gone for Grekum instead of CISO. Since God's likely not to be sending forward the Guardian Akron, and just... All that J Raccoon will see is the Akron's gone outside of his base. So he's not going to see that God has gone for Grekum quite yet, but he will very shortly in the next couple seconds. Then once he does, it might change around his strategy for a bit, but against this, really, that early... Your Zion Pulsar attack I mentioned, that works out very well. But even two minutes in, God's actually still vulnerable to Zion Pulsar Assault. And God set himself up, getting his Akron bit out of the way, but still has his economy going. And I'm, like I said, very surprised by his choice of tactic. So J Raccoon will be defeated at 318. Oh, I see. The Ocho's coming in and actually dealing with the Akron. Yeah, so Akron, the Akron here will have to be removed. J Raccoon will be able to get out of there, although it looks like... Is he actually getting out of there and echoing it out? Or, no, it looks like he's just running away, which means the Ox will still be able to deal some damage to it. No, Nowhere near as much, though, so we'll be able to escape for the most part. But still a fair amount of damage. And there comes that Zion Pulsar. 
which will be able to take care of God's Akron as it comes into the base, or feel some damage. It's actually missing a lot of the time. There we go. Now it's starting to hit, and starting to deal quite a bit of damage here, so this Akron will have to avoid conflict at all costs. And again, Jericoon moving his Akron around and of away from the Octo. So the Octo no longer assaulting the Akron because the movement got echoed out earlier on. We have Zion Pulsar dealing some damage to it. With Skip Teleport, we'll be able to get into this base quite effectively, but really, the priority target has walked right into J. Raccoon's base. God will likely undo this. He'll likely get out of there as soon as he sees what's going on. And There we go. Right now, moving back into his own base. But he has no Reef. He only has some economy set up. So as Zion Pulsar teleporting in, the Unplayable Past Edge would win the game. And Jaragoon has just locked off this part of the timeline to God. Everything after this point that's being propagated, God cannot command anything here as Akron has been killed. Though, once the Red Time it propagates the Akron's movement being undone, then that will obviously undo the damage, and thus God will be able to command things. But it does mean he can't jump around too much, and there it goes. Good teleport upgrade coming in. Once that's done, then we'll see... Well, we'll see a very powerful assault, of course. Because this Zion Pulsar coming in will be able to tear apart the Akron. Now, of course, Jericoon does see where the Akron is at the Unplayable Past Edge, and this is when God's focused as well, so this is pretty much the definitive result. Two Octopods, however, being set up will be able to deal a fair amount of damage if they find that Zion Pulsar, but from the looks of it, they actually aren't going to be going where the Akron is. The Zion Pulsar, knowing where to teleport to, Jericoon just needs to actually go and teleport it, and no, he's teleporting into the main base. That's a big mistake. He knows where the Akron is. He knows where the priority target is. And he needs to go attack and kill that. That's the thing he needs to go after. Why is he going for the main base? That is a terrible mistake. That is going to cost him a Zion Pulsar and give him nothing in return. I mean, maybe some slightly damaged units for God, but he's not going to win the game that way. He knows where his target is. His, his Akron sees... Sees God's Akron, and God, of course, sees his Akron as well, which means that God can send his Octopods down to deal with that. Which would be a very good idea, actually, because that would mean that he'd also be defending his own Akron while assaulting J-Raccoons. But no, Zion Pulsar coming in here, attacking the economy, dealing some damage to the RPs, but not enough. He, J-Raccoon, his only hope really was to teleport down. He knows where the Akron is. He needs to go down and deal with it. He's building in, however, with another Zion Pulsar coming in, that will help, but still not quite enough. He needs to go after his main target. This is, this is the point of the game mode. And now God moving that back into the base is going to be a lot harder to assault. So Jericoon losing the, basically the one opportunity he had to really deal with God's Akron decisively in an easy way. So anything after this point is going to be rather hard to win from. And given that the Octopods are right here. Even with two Zion Pulsars, that's still not enough damage being dealt to kill the Akron in time. Neither player, however, going for Reese very much, which means we won't actually see a lot of healing. So any damage that is dealt is going to be pretty much permanent for now. And here goes... Both Zion Pulsars are set up to go attack. I'm not sure why Jericoon is waiting. What he's waiting for. Well, the other Zion Pulsar might be it. Getting three Zion Pulsars. That would be not quite enough. That'd be probably an even fight with the Octopods. But even then, he's giving God a lot of time to rebuild build up in general, and if he gets a Seppi, he gets a Reef, that's over. And there's the Seppi. The Reef will be coming very soon. Jericho needs to attack now, if not sooner. And this is about as soon as he can attack. No, the Seppi actually going for... No, going for a Reef! It is going for a Reef, however, the Akron is moving out. But this Reef is... That finishes it. Like, Jericho needs to attack before that Reef is done. And I don't think he's aware of that at all, aware that he actually has this chance. However, the Akron moving back into the base sees the... Zion Pulse, so he knows what's going to happen. He knows what could kill him. And... Or, so the God knows what could kill the Akron. And that's... Like I said, I'm really surprised at... The way that Jericho is, is approaching this. He's not approaching this with the intent to really kill the Akron. And actually, that is his main goal. He does have... Well, he did on the green... Or before the green time wave. Deal a lot of damage in the main base. But he's not... That's not the point. You're supposed to kill this thing. That's the whole point of the game mode. And I think Jericho may have lost sight of that. Well, the Chronicle pointing out that Akrons are actually very safe in the early game, provided they don't stop moving. However, when you get to the Unplayable Past Edge, it doesn't matter. Oh, regardless, it looks like Jericho actually is distracting 
the octopus in the north while attacking the Akron to the south. So God losing his Akron, unable to deal with this, he has to jump back a bit to finish this off. And it looks like he might actually lose his, since near the unplayable past edge, there isn't much God can do about this. He has no chrono porting, he has no real way of dealing with this. Once it propagates forward, he's basically lost. And it already had propagated forward due to the fact that he sent his Akron in earlier and lost it there. So he's lost his Akron either way. He's either lost it in his main base or in J Raccoon's main base. This is why I say it's kind of risky to scout with them because in a case like this, he has no real way of getting out of there. However, he does have his Octopods getting in position to try to deal with this, but one of the Octopods getting distracted by his Iron Pulsar. The other Octopod not able to kill his Iron Pulsar fast enough, still losing the Akron. So God, even near the Impelable Vast Edge, cannot do anything about this. And that is game. Won by an actual assassination. Which rarely happens, but yeah. Won by an actual assassination. Nicely done, J-Raccoon. Oh, silly god. It doesn't have to make sense. It's a video game! Also, it's you. Why are you not fleeing? The Akron is supposed to be you. That's kind of the thing. I know, I'm being facetious, because... Yeah, it's... It is kind of silly the Akrons aren't actually getting out of the way, but then... You... May not want them to. I mean, it would actually make the Akron scouting really hard, which I suppose might be a good thing. I, I think the Akrons being able to scout is good. So that's one thing to keep in mind. However, uh, God has lost the game, so well done, J Raccoon, for pulling off a very nice assassination like that. Pretty clean assassination, actually. Turns out he only lost one unit. And that is it for tonight. So I hope you enjoyed that. And. Have a good night, everybody.